everybody has what's called a turn back moment. Where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is, the average person turns back. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. The pressure in your life right now has a purpose. It's not crushing you. It's pushing what's on the inside of you out. It shows you who you are. Opportunity comes in chaos. When crisis is striking your life, and in the Chinese language, crisis means danger, but it also means opportunity. A chance to stand up. A chance to get it right. A chance to make a U-turn. And guess what? You are strong enough to do it. And your life is worth whatever you have to go through. And you can kick on out of those circumstances, whatever they are, where you say, I'm going to keep on kicking. I'm never going to give up. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way that you can begin to handle this. There's a way out here somewhere. There's a solution. If I really work hard and use my mind and I get creative, there's something out there that I haven't discovered. There's always an answer. You can do more than you think you can do. You can have more than you think you can have. The possibilities for you are unlimited. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make? No one can do that. You don't know what the possibilities are for your life. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. The difference is not the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tell someone fortune, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and if I don't when I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every day I'll, I'll throw more up there. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. And I'll never get comfortable. I'll feel rejected. I try. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. The person that didn't try should feel some type of way. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I tried. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm not whack. You know how much I went through to make that thing happen? And I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. You can't defeat me. Breath work. If you can monitor and manage your breath work, you can monitor anything that you can control. So I'm trying to stay into. Hello, this is Brandon from Motivational Speech Podcast. I have a great gift for you. I'm sharing some of the highly valuable life-changing free audiobooks. You can find the audiobooks link in the description. These audiobooks can change your life. So don't waste them. 8. The Dream of God I figured out early on, you know, I had these dreams for myself. I used to tell my father, I'm going to live in a house on a hill. I'm going to have a million dollars. And I learned early in my career that the dream I had for myself couldn't compare to the dream that life had for me. So I figured out how to lean in to life to lean into life and allow the flow that was designed for me to follow to allow
allow that flow to be my guide. And every decision I've ever made has come from listening to the flow that represents the truth in me that is also the truth in you. You already know the truth. You've been making decisions, having choices fulfilled throughout your life since you were a kid. And being able to make the right choice based upon what is the truth of you is the dream and prayer I hold for you today. Because being able to do that has led me to this stage and many other stages throughout the world. It's the truth. You know, everybody has what I call this instinct, this inner voice. It's called by many names, intuition, the divine, the flow, but everybody has it. And the truth is, every decision I've ever made that led me to the right space and place in my life, I got there because I relied on that inner voice, the truth of me. When I was 30 years old and about to leave Baltimore, because I felt something inside, that thing, that instinct, that flow, that truth that said, it's time to move on. And every single person around me, except for my best friend, Gail, that's why she is my best friend, Gail, said, you shouldn't move to Chicago. You should stay here. My bosses said, you're right here in Baltimore.